Yeah, but like, there's a name for it. Like, I, I know what it is, but I can't think of it. The DK rap is a list of ways to flirt. Yeah, I just take out my coconut gun. That might be TOS, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just at the start of chapter three, for anyone just joining us, uh, I think we're gonna jump, when we jump straight in, we just go to free time. I think, I think that's what we're going to. Uh, I forget who we were trying to be friends with. I think we finished with Gonta. Did you reveal who you thought the killer was? I missed the stream yesterday since I was at work. Yes, I did. So my initial, my initial, my initial initial guess was, was Kaito for some reason. I assumed it was somebody part that was part of Hifumi's magic trick, uh, but Hifumi was too obvious. And then I thought, no, it must be Angie, because Angie tried to trick, uh, tried to trick Hifumi into being well, not trick, but tried to convert Hifumi to the eyes of Atua. And I figured she could use her in that way, like it was her idea to make this stage and blah blah blah. And then in the elevator, I knew it was Kurumi, or like I had a, a really strong feeling it was Kurumi. Because they kept they kept uh, saying how much she wanted to help people, like they were really stressing on that, even in like impossible situations, that she always fulfilled requests, and the fact that I knew that you couldn't step into the uh, the gym at nighttime, but Kurumi would be able to have access to the piranha tank because she was making the uh, the curtains. Like it was just I just had a couple of connections. I wasn't sure exactly how it was done. But I, I had enough that I was like, it's gotta be Kurumi. So wait, yeah, who, who, uh, who are we being friends with? Oh, I should have fucking done the stupid goddamn, my bad. So, we're at level, are we not done with Gonta? We're not even done with Gonta yet, Jesus. We have made friends with nobody. Okay, cool. All right, so I guess we're just gonna go hang out with Gonta. After we do uh, everyone's favorite part of the stream, which is just fucking, <laughs> yeah. Kaito, Mike, Maki, my boy Kyo. Uh, no, Gonta. We have to finish. We still, we still haven't finished Gonta. Am I just really slow? I feel like I've even been giving him gifts and such. But the fact that it's taken me three chapters to get friendship with one person—that's pretty bad. I guess the first one I won't fully count because I didn't know I, that gifts are super important in this one. I feel like even in Danganronpa 1, I made friends faster than this, and I didn't give any gifts. So I just didn't feel like going through the mono mono machine. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this for a little bit. So uh, actually, did I fuck with my settings a little bit? I think I I think I did. I feel like my my mouse is a little quiet. So if you, if you think it's a little quiet, let me know. I, uh, I didn't mean to, but mistakes were made, so shit happens. Also, it'll give more people time to get to the stream. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut this part out of the, of the beginning of the video. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty important, but there's some other stuff you can do during free time, during this one, that you'll get to later. Okay. okay I'll just, I'll just cut this part out for the YouTube video. This is just exhausting. <laughs> this is not super exciting. Actually, we don't even mind if we got a repeat, because a lot of the things that we had, Gonta liked. So it would be fine. And after stream tonight, if I have if I have the time to, I'll, I'll spend everything else. Hi, YouTube. No, this part's getting cut out of YouTube. So you can't. Any other time, you can say hi to YouTube. Not this part. I got two things of bird food, hell yeah. We're getting all the cleaning supplies after Kurumi is fucking dead. <laughs> so we gotta figure out who we want to spend time with after Gonza, because I'm assuming we're close. 
I was thinking Kaito or Maki. They, they're the ones that I think I'd like to spend the most amount of time with, personally. Ultimate babysitter, my queen? But she's not ultimate babysitter, she's ultimate assassin. We found that out yesterday. I had, a, I had a feeling she was something sketchy that wasn't ultimate babysitter, but ultimate assassin was not what I thought it was. Yeah, we got to that already. It's it's right after, uh... It's right after, uh, Kurumi's execution that we find out. So yeah, where... Was it? Yeah, I believe so. I, be I believe the, so the second we get out of the, uh, the trial grounds, Kokichi's like, Hmm, I'm very smart and also an asshole. Non-alcoholic drink? What's the point? Finally at the end of it. Alright, let's go find Gonta. <laughs> now that that's out of the way. Uh... I'm guessing he's outside? That's where he usually is. No, okay. Not there, not there, not there. Is he in his room? Perhaps he is, okay. All right, all right. I was gonna ask where is everyone, but thankfully they're not missing much. It's just free time right now, so it's easy. Also, hi YouTube, welcome back. <laughs> you skipped all the oh. bling 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 bling. You're welcome. Oh, Suichi, perfect timing. Gonta need to ask you something. Let's hang out with Gonta. Why? Gonta know we not dead, but Gonta not know what school festival item is for. We gonna hold a fake funeral? Why are we gonna do that? I don't know, man. Going to make it a little closer. Let's give him a present. Do we have anything good to give him that like he would like? I don't remember what he likes. Probably a necktie, right? I would assume, because he's gentleman. As gentlemen. Gentlemen wear small trinkets like this. Gonta must remember that. Gonta still not used to gentleman clothes. This is very helpful, Suichi. I said I spend time talking to him. Think about Gonta because Gonta is the ulti ultimate entomologist. I said to ask him about his work. Hmm. Gonta, you really are impressive. You know that? Bugs are. G Gonta, nothing special. Gonta just listen to what bugs say. He's always so humble. Sure, he discovers new insect species, but he also develops cultivation methods. And he once discovered a, par a parasitic worm that was causing disease and was praised as a hero. Then. You've saved so many lives, Gonta. Cause Gonta gentlemen. Yes, but gent gentlemen's supposed to help people. Yeah, I got the striped necktie, don't worry. I'm, a I'm ahead of you, Mira, don't worry. I'm big brain. Mira, I got it, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, though. Gonta gotta work even harder and become true gentleman. Hey. You know, Gonta, you say that, but I know how truly amazing you are. I don't think you need to work so hard to be a gentleman. You're already incredible. No way. B but Suichi. Gonta must become gentlemen for Forest Family. Because the reason you developed your ultimate entomologist talent was because your Forest Family taught you so much about insects and animals, right? I just looked it up for you because no spoilers. I'm sorry, I have to. Like, it's okay. I'm just giving you shit. You're fine. I appreciate it. I think we looked it up later, like before, and it was just gentleman stuff, so it was kind of obvious. Mm. Yes, that right. Yeah. So you should be proud of that, Gonta. No matter what anyone says, your Forest Family helped you develop into the talent talented man you are today. That's all Gonta need? Okay. That's plenty, Gonta. From now on, as long as you work hard as the ultimate entomologist, your family will accept you. Entomologist. I, keep, I kept putting an H there when there was no H. Gonta. But Gonta no help, no help to anyone right now. No, that's wrong. You are. You saved me before, remember? I almost fell down the staircase oh. <laughs> after you threw me. I'm... Gonta, you're a more amazing person than you think you are. Shuichi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Gonta, open eye, no, eyes open now. Gonta understand. Gonta learn from you. Gonta gonna give even get even better at talent he got from Forest Family. Gonta do his but best. Gonta's still gonna try to become gentleman. Why? Why? Hey! At first, Gonta do it for Forest Family, but now, Gonta just wanna be gentleman. Gonta wanna be nice, serious, refined, polite gentleman. That's Gonta's goal now. You're right. I see. And then I think that's a great goal to have. Mm. Yeah, Gonta work hard to reach goal. 
After a firm nod, Gonta's expression softened and he looked at me. Thank you! Thank you so much, Shuichi. Gonta understand a lot more because of you. Gonta. Gonta glad he met Shuichi. From now on, oh, Gonta he was he was talking and by everyone bed. else safe. Like true gentlemen. Gonta took my hand and squeezed it, and I squeezed back. This is a real bond here. I believe it with all my heart. There we go, chat. We finished. We finished Gonta. Off. Okay. So. Uh. Yeah. Who do. Forgot about that part. So, do we want Maki or Kaito next? Because I was gonna try to befriend, befriend Kurumi next, because Kurumi is my favorite female character. I guess we won't have a, cho a chance right now. I guess we have time to decide. This is an announcement. Yo, Mono Dam's fucking losing it. It is now 10 p.m. It's now 10 p.m. It's Betty by time for us. You bastards. You two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Yeah. Huh? Whatever's in the top bed might fall out of bed and die. Uh, uh, I don't know if we're that close. That's yeah, Model Dam's fucking losing. I know you already know Mira, but I gotta say it, because like, I, I got Tyler the last player, you know? <laughs> Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're gonna do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Andrew, go to bed. No one wants to talk to you. Fuck out of here. I forgot how funny his lines were. I love Mono Dam. Mono Dam is my favorite Mono Cub so far. Like. If I had to, if I had to put them in order, I like Monodam, and that's it. <laughs> Looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, yo, hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? <laughs> I'm just dragging Maki around places now. Huh? Maki? Why is Maki here? Oh my God, no. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people. And it's more fun with more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training the three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This, this is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. <laughs> you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked, I'm right already. did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. Hey, hold up a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, even super pets think of themselves as the heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so. How long are you gonna run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face closer to Maki's, and they embraced. Kaito gets on my nerves, but the whole workout stuff is super sweet. Kaito is kind of like. He's a douchebag with a heart. That's that's what that's what I get from him. Like he's kind of a dickhead and he's full of himself, but like his heart's in the right place, so it's really really hard for me to dislike him. As a whole, I like him a lot. Your mask is coming down. I can tell just by looking at you today. Just gonna skip this because I don't wanna read all of it. You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so hey, what's your enemy? What? My enemy. Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you gonna run away from your enemy? Huh? Run Seriously? Away. Yeah, you've been running away. Thank you. My God, this game complained about repeating itself and then continues to repeat itself. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Maki is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he gonna be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you gonna do? Kaito! Hey Kaito, it's okay, you don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it? Then... She just said! Don't get the wrong idea. 
Don't just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh. Yeah, so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? Y you don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. You just better be ready. I won't hold that and hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we gonna do first? Alright, all right, first a hundred push-ups. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us, and the three and the three of us trained together. Their heads still don't match their bodies, and it really bugs me. Not bad, Shuichi. You're getting better. Also, the grunting. Hey, I don't. I don't like no at all. slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing a hundred. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you. She's so. the ultimate assassin. One, what are you two, What are you three, talking about? Three, what? That fast? What for our ultimate assassin? Don't you understand? Satisfied. 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You you're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaizo, that was the best lie you could come up with? Hey. Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You'd better be there. Uh, he's so stupid, but I kind of love him. <laughs> it's, it's really hard not to like him. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez, why is, she, why is she being so difficult? Um, Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Also, I don't think I ever posted on Twitter that I was live. I'm going to do that right now. Just double, just double check. Also, I can stop the laundry. I feel like viewership is not really great right now, so I gotta fucking... <laughs> What's up, bud? He's a nice guy, but he really is kind of dumb. Yeah, he's stupid. I, I, I said this, I said this, I think, before you got here. But he's he's dumb as shit, but he's so endearing, and, like, his heart is in the right place. So, like, it's really hard to be mad at him for being so dumb, because he's still trying his best. So it's hard, it's really hard for me to dislike him. Ugh. Excuse me. Hmm? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, weak um, and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Uh, no. Your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing! Anyways, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. <laughs> Ultimate detective knows your bullshit. He kind of reminds me of Aoi with the fact that he's stupid, but he's always trying to help people. It's a it's a different kind of stupid, I think. I, th I think Aoi is at least like a little aware of where her talent is. Kaito believes he knows he's smart and is like the hero and shit. But yeah, it's it, it's it's a similar it's a similar like false. I, I, it might even be false bravado. I, I get the feeling it might it might turn out to be false bravado at the end of it all. Oh whoops. Uh, Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. <sighs> so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing me Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued to talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Yo, we got Mono Dam Theater now, alright. Curious. Curious what we Mono Cubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air-conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See? We're all such good friends, we're always together. Except when they run away, when I ca get caught stealing. Mono Dam fucking snaps. <laughs> Mono Dam gonna kill everyone. It is now.
now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Monodam, you're really obsessed with the whole getting along thing. That's right. Friends is the only show he's watches, he watches now. I will not if you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exercise to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. Oh, gory. Oh, that's so gory. Please get along, everyone. No, 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 no. Oh, she's ah. dead. Ah, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Mon Monophony's blue puke will have good luck. So long. Farewell. We have good luck, chat. Maybe Monodam's dying. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Good luck, vomit. Finally! Finally, a relatable game. Good luck, vomit is very relatable to me and my needs. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. All right, so they get friends in this universe, so that's like an, an unfortunate thing to find out. But if they, if they have friends, they might have Netflix, so they might have something decent, but I don't know. We don't have Netflix anyway, so I guess it's okay. The joke I'm trying to, to make here, Chad, is that Friends isn't a good show. <laughs> it wasn't a very complex joke. I'm here, I need food. Hey, turtle. What's up, bud? If I had a dime for every time I had good luck vomit, I'd be rich. <laughs> you don't find a dime every time you good luck vomit? That's like number one easiest thing to get with good luck vomit. It was the same way. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class class trial. All clean, like nothing ever happened. Ah. Oh man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh. Ah, you look- you took a look at the computer at the fourth floor? What do you think? Uh. Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... Uh. I've been up all night working on this computer. I haven't been working on it very long, so I don't know the full specs. How? How? How do you know that? How- how do you not know basic specs if you've been working on it all night? And how have you been working on it all night? If you only just started working on I don't understand. <laughs> I have a major issue with Ryoma's de death. Why was his clothes in perfect condition? What do you mean? What's, what's the what's the issue? Oh, well, after he was killed? Yeah. Um, uh, that's just anime logic. <laughs> the piranhas undressed them. Alright, easy. Next question. They were folded up by the piranhas. The piranhas don't like clothing, so they took them off of them. Also, they're disgusting perverts. Easy. Next. The thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. Are you jealous? Please stop! Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. What? A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just- it seems just plain possible. Oh? Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so, so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone pr would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. He runs an evil organization. What? <laughs> His entire character is that he is evil. And he has a... He's like obviously trying to create a rift. How has nobody figured that out yet? How has nobody been like, hey, he runs an evil organization. He probably hires assassins. He's an evil organiz- he's an evil leader. Why would he not hire assassins? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking- just fucking kill Kokichi. What a shit character. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. Enough! You better cut it out. No, no. Because everyone here is dumb as shit. Honestly. He's right. Mother and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone! Everyone, it's serious! No. Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. No, not that. Gonto went to a courtyard before coming here and. Thanks, 
Thanks for bearing with us. The numbers diminish. Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? <laughs> We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the motive is. It will not do the killing game anymore. Okay. I feel like there's no, there's so many characters with brain cells in this bunch that they had to balance with some of the most dumb as fuck characters. See, that's the thing though, is that they're all dumb as fuck. They're all, they're all stupid. Like, Shuichi is us, so like, they have to be middle of the ground. Easily. We've already established that Kaito is dumb as shit. Uh, Ryoma was smart and they killed him off. Rentaro was smart, died first. Gonta is perfect. <laughs> Kokichi's a rat bastard. Kyo, I don't really think is smart as much as he is just weird. And is weird for the sake of being weird. Like, he's smart in certain areas, but I don't know if smart's the right word to describe him. Despite being a robot, Kibo's dumb as shit. He's well studied. I wouldn't say he's smart. He's not intelligent when it comes to, like, for someone who studies, like, humans, he doesn't seem to understand how they work. Because, like, and no one has called out Kokichi, again, for being Rat Bastard, which he is. Uh, Kurumi was smart, so they killed her off. Himiko, dumb as shit. Maki, too quiet to talk. Tenko, dumb as shit. Sumugi, hasn't left in any kind of impression on me. Angie, dumb as shit. Mew, dumb as shit. Kaede, dead. So, <laughs> I, I feel like there really isn't any brains in this in this game at all. I'd argue, I'd argue that Kokichi is the smartest, and it's more about manipulation than it is about actual intelligence. It's like it's like charisma over intelligence. Kibo seems kind of middle of the ground for me. Yeah, he's he's definitely he's definitely like the most human robot I've ever seen in a game. But like, he he, he start, uh, is he in in Japanese is he is he more of an android than a robot? Or a, a cyborg, like uh, like the androids from Dragon Ball. Just upgrade him. Just upgrade his RAM. Just download more RAM, Kibo. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is. We will not do the killing game anymore. Oh, I already said that. That's right. We weren't afraid of, do of anything anymore. Chat, can you tell? Can you pinpoint the direct point that my mother came down so I stopped doing voices? Because it's the second I stopped doing voices. <laughs> Indeed. No, Kibo. No, because we have a Tua. What? Actually, but it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It. It. It went. It went over to Kyo, and the music like started speaking. Like like the like the the guy. I forgot that he had actual lyrics and not just counting down. And I was like, why does Kyo sound like that? Fear like never before. If you if you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll present it together. This time, the motive is a transfer student. Oh. Yep, a new student is transferring, and not just. They said it was a ghost transfer student, right? You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. You gave Kiba the, the same voice as Monodam? Yeah, because because Monodam was introduced as... Uh, actually, no, Kiba was introduced as Robot, and I was like, oh, easy, give him the Robot voice. And then he had, like, a normal voice, and I was like, ah, oh, but I kind of like the Robot voice. And then Monodam showed up. It's like, oh, Monodam is literally a robot. So, like... <laughs> it's just coincidence. And welcome them back to the Academy as a transfer student! Okay, so this is definitely part of, like, some program, right? Like a game, like or like it, it's it's like the same thing from the second game, right? The fact that we can resurrect someone, unless they pull some magic out of their ass. What? That sounds like too much power to bring back a dead person, or someone who died isn't really dead. Well, it wouldn't be Kaede or Kurumi because they're they got executed, so they're like definitely dead. And and they said we get to choose. So Are you serious? Oh, and transfer student? We can resurrect someone? So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necron Necronomicon. By 
performing the ritual is written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right! But only one of the four who have died so far can, can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah! So technically, you can kill him again as soon as you resurrect as the re resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Old habits and such. Hey. Mono Dam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? That's wonderful. Monophony, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. It's true, chat. Whenever I'm wrong, uh, the beard crew spent. Never mind. That's why I'll have you punish Monotaro. What? Me? Please, no, not Monophony. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. So long. Farewell. Cool, I didn't want to see any of that, so. <laughs> we were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. What I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student, resurrecting the dead. Don't, Don't say she's a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Huh. Sheesh, who the fuck would believe the load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief due to a, la a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they are similar, yes. They act, the act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. The rumors and legends that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. Okay, he's showing his smartness now. I shit, I, I shit on him, so the second the occult shows up, he's like, I got this, fam. <laughs> a ritual? So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Okay, he's even smarter than he looks now. All right. What do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected? Uh... That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If even not even Kyo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right! And this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? Hmm? You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking! But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. No, wait, let's hear what Angie has to say. Right! Yes, yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! Oh, no. Oh, no, chat, we have to split the class in two. I was- I was fully ready to completely kill all of- all of the Atua fan club, but, like, Kibo's a part of it, so now it's complicated. I don't hate Kyo, and I feel like a uh, Kibo, and if I- if I- if I kill Kibo, I feel- I'll feel like a robo- robo-racist. But, uh... We would also take out Angie, Himiko, and Tenko. So, it's probably worth it. Sorry, sorry, Kibo. Call me a robo-racist, but it's worth it. 100% <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Because that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Angie has become too powerful. We must stop her before it is too late. Can I just leave? If it means the death of Tua, sorry, Kibo, sacrifices must be made. Uh, um, so, you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because. You know the, how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean. It's like this, there was never a dead body to begin with. The so maybe is. they were never dead to begin with. Oh. Mira, I'm just gonna assume you, you, when you said the thing that you said that that wasn't a spoiler and it was a slip of the tongue, so you could... <laughs> they weren't... dead? No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... But it might have been a very accurate imitation. N no. An imitation? I see. Monokuma and the, Monokuma and the Exosiles are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. Also, I am a robot. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, 
But I'm starting to plainly agree. Hmm. I'm all I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, everyone. Wait! What? Wait. No, no, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! God, don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want to believe you want them you don't want them to be alive, Suichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true. I, but... I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But no, no matter how much we want that. What? Now nah, sometimes I like to throw in things to make it make it things if someone who didn't play the game was saying it. But I know you played the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I said, it's not a big deal. Who cares? I was just trying to make conversation or something. <laughs> oh, wait! If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? I'm not a fan that Angie has nearly this much power over pe people in the group. Yeah, it's fine, Mira. I'm kidding. It's, it's all a joke. <laughs> no one's actually mad. So, I'm realizing that every everyone on the left side of the room needs to die. So, Angie, uh, Tenko... Now, Sumugi, who again, I have no feelings of either way, so I, so I don't care. Kiba- Mira, I just said it doesn't matter, it's fine, I'm not bullying you! I'm yelling at you, it's different. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Kibo, Angie, Hifumi, Sumugi, and Tenko, they need to all be brought down together. Like, that's just- that's just how it is. Again, Sumugi- <laughs> They're pitting the shush. Uh, Sumugi, I have no opinions on. Like, I thought- I honestly thought I was gonna hate her. Just like, by looking at her, I thought that I was gonna absolutely despise her. And so far, there's nothing about her I like, but there's nothing that I very strongly dislike about her. She's a- uh, about, she's a very meh character for me. So if I have to kill her to kill those five, I'll do it. I'll pull that trigger. <laughs> if everyone alive, that means they're somehow in school, right? So, maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard? So yeah, if these five- were the bite the bullet. All we would have left was be rat bastard and her. <laughs> and then we'll be left with Kaito, Gonta, K Kyo, who again I have no like poor opinions on. I like him more than I dislike him. He's he's just always been strange to me. And Maki, who I think is cute, so she gets a pass. <laughs> Watch well, going to join them and then uh, Andrew can't do um... it. If going to joins them, I have to kill everyone else. <laughs> Like I said, two kind of okay people for three dumb dumbasses. Exchange, exchange rate is good. Yeah, and even Zamugi is like a whatever. Like, I could take her or leave her. If she died next, I wouldn't give a shit. Gon Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta goes see writing in courtyard. Hey! And it have more writing this time, huh? More writing? Um... Okay, all I can think of is the worst earth sign, and then something that ends with ma, but I don't know. Smoogie reminds me of Red Hair Girl from 2, where she's so irrelevant that I forget her name. Fuck, I have also forgotten her name, but I actually kind of liked her because, again, I thought she was cute, so she gets a pass. <laughs> what was her name, though? You're right, I also forget her name because she is, she is kind of super irrelevant. <laughs> Despite the fact that she died. <laughs> Gonta no could make could understand what writing mean, but maybe Right! Maybe in message from dead? Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, hey, we alive. What was her name, chat? Fuck. Someone look it up. Huh? What was Redhead Girl's name? What was the ultimate photographer's name? A message from everyone who died? I think it began with an M, but that's all I remember. Mm. Mahiru, that was her name. Game the or nim. The worst Nima? The worst Nene. <laughs> Mahiru, I cannot spell yet. Don't worry. I got you. But yeah, yeah, Mahi Mahiru is her name. And I liked her because she was cute. Other than that, take it or leave it. <laughs> it's, it is incredible how much the, the physical design of a character can sway me to like them, even if their personality is less interesting than salt. <laughs> I don't know why salt is okay. I meant to say saltine, but salt works too, I guess. <laughs> Because no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it, right? Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? <laughs> Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the ne Necromonicon off the floor. Say. Angie, what are you planning to do with that? 
Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, right? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for this for certain this time. Uh-oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you! <laughs> You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior to those four people. Huh? Angie, you leave her you leave Gonta alone. No! No! Shh. It's happening. Oh no. We have to kill them now before Gonta is tricked. <laughs> Quick, chat, get the guns. Are they just gonna completely disregard the fact that any of the monocubs could have written the message? Apparently. Huh? And she approached Gonta with her usual wide, wide smile and. No. Hmm. No. <laughs> you leave him alone. You, so you monster. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Gonta, kill. Even when you go <laughs> berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this. Because Atua is always watching you. No. Always watching Gonta. No, Gonta. Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Chat, this is bullshit. How the fuck is she above Gonta's head? Did she grow four feet in three seconds? She jumped up and strangled him down using the power of Atua. It seems we have to sacrifice Gonta for the ultimate evil. I don't want. I can't do it, chat. You all have to do it for me. Atua I can't. Is I just like can't. A gentle grandmother. Watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. <laughs> it depends what you grew up with. Because mine were crazy. <laughs> One of my grandmothers was convinced I was crazy and screamed at my mother that I was going insane because I wanted dinner. Like, I, I asked my grandmother for food because I was hungry. And she screamed at me and called my mother and demanded I be picked up. Whoo, Nana was something else. <laughs> so that, when you say Atua is like a grandmother, huh? that's all I can think. That's all I can think of. Maybe Angie is just the real ultimate supreme leader with, a, with running a cult. <laughs> what if Kokichi is actually the good guy? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Well, Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa! Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh! Even Kokichi's like, that's some bullshit. Both my grandmas are like that, so I feel it. Like... Yeah, I feel like in the media, grandmas are portrayed as very, very nice, but most of them are just kind of cranky old ladies. <laughs> I refuse to believe that Kokichi is the good guy. Look, I'm just saying. I didn't expect Angie to start a cult, and yet here we are. Anything can happen in Danganronpa V3. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right! Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were a part of the student council, Gonta. Mm. We have a student council? Mm-hmm. You will use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah! Yeah! So, see how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Really? You need Gonta? Got it. Okay, Gonta joins student council too. Wait! Wait, before all of that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Samugi. Yes! And we arrived to a conclusion. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Why would you... Why would you vote the crazy lady as the president? I think I'd rather follow Kokichi. Ugh! I think I'd rather follow Kokichi. What? <laughs> Why would they have a student council for the barely double digits of people they have? I don't know. Why would they put Angie at the top? Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free Ultimate Academy. How do you... How do you enforce that? <laughs> huh? A student council? Council? And Angie's the president? Yes. Yes, there can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. <gasps> oh, shut up! Hi. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's call the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. 
<laughs> Ten bucks says one of them is the mastermind. <laughs> we got to team up with Kokichi to take down the crazy leader. Oh my god, we actually have to team up with, with, with Kokichi. All right, Kokichi, here's the rules. You can do whatever you want to any of them but Gonta. Gonta must remain unscathed and should be protected and safe. Anyone else, free grabs whatever you want. <laughs> you reinforce the no killing by killing the people who are gonna kill- Yeah, exactly, that's the issue! <laughs> but since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy worthy of leading the that's council. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna follow Angie too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone, Atua is happy too. Oh man. Jeez, uh, they've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before she even realized. However, but it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. It's true, I was thinking of it. It's kind of weird that we haven't had a cult yet in like any of these games. Like, the fact that we've had like a crazy group has not happened yet. We've had crazy characters. So this is, this is actually interesting. The fear of a death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us dependent on a tour. Please, wait! Using as a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace from, for this school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right! The ultimate despairs. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little different. I, I mean, I'm in an active group in the, de in the killing game. That, that's, that's what I mean. I guess, I guess technically the ultimate despairs are a cult. <laughs> I'm in a constant state of confusion and exhausted. Yeah, that's just kind of adulthood. Yeah, go to not tell, let anyone talk bad about student council. Why you? You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But, but I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the, the student council. Huh? huh? But why? That's correct. Because you and Andy were fighting over Kimiko, were you not? Uh, Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait! Less burdensome? Mm. That's a relief. If it's Atua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah, yeah there's no way Atua would do would be yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yep, yep, Atua is always right. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? This resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I doubt they listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. Yo, Kaito, if you go on to the Atua side, I'm cutting you off too, buddy. Also, it's like... It smells like heat down here, but I don't have any I don't have any heat on down here. So, I think it just smell it's just the pellets so smell from upstairs. It's just, it's just, it's, I'm just worried because I can smell it. <laughs> In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it that at that and went our separate ways. Maybe Angie got all of them to start sniffing her paint, and that's why they agreed with her. <laughs> Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Or alternatively... I could go caught. I could go talk to the now now cute, cutest girl in the academy. Because Kaede and Karumi are dead, so unfortunately, I can't talk to them. So yeah, let's uh look. Chat. I don't know about you guys, but I want to go talk to Maki because she cute, and that's it. <laughs> that's my. That's my entire reasoning. And Am I? Hey, trombone. Why don't I recognize who that is? Did I just get small-brained? And completely forget this character? Oh, Mew. Yes, okay, that's why. Because <laughs> I never registered her as a person before. I thought it was Kaede for a second, because she was revived. I got excited, but it was just Mew. <laughs> I mean, if you bring Kaede Kurumi back to, back from the dead, you can talk to him. True. I'm guessing it's a, it's preset who comes back. Otherwise, that's that's too many paths for the game to go down. And Danganronpa is pretty linear. I didn't want to go up here. Whoops. 
Okay, so this is where all the weirdos hang out. Do you have a gun in the room? Cause that'd be great for uh, killing people. <laughs> Hello, Maki. Give me a kiss. Huh? What? No. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. I just thought we could hang out. I guess that's a no. I thought that training with me and Kaito would bring us closer. Okay. Sure. Huh? <gasps> sure, we're hanging out with a girl. <laughs> Really? Are you trying to pull? That's the reaction. You're the one who invited Sorry. me. Sorry. Sorry, I was just surprised. I honestly thought you'd reject me. Because, you know, you know, that's what most girls do. <laughs> All this time, I assumed I was going to train with two idiots, you and Kaito. And I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaito's demands. Not sure how to feel about that. What do you mean? Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Yeah, let's do it. Sure, whatever. Fine, I'll hang out with you. But I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. Mira, can I get a list for, for Maki, please? Because I don't have a list for her of things to give her. I spent some time with Maki talking about nothing. Very cool. Not can I grow a little closer by talking about nothing. Just hanging out in the same general area is pretty cool. Yeah, chat. Uh, Mira has been giving me lists for to, of stuff to give people to so that I don't uh, spoil myself because I guess sometimes spoilers like that just kind of end up happening. So, uh... If she can go through it for me. And remember, we do know that she is the ultimate assassin now, so there's no spoilers there. If there's a spoiler outside of that, uh, you can cut it. Alright, so that, those, that's everything she loves. Do we have sugar? First three? Okay, we still, she only has three loves. So that's number seven? Sugar. So we have one sugar, astro cake, and Greek yogurt. Wow, she only likes food, huh? Do we even have Greek yogurt? Is that this? Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have five things. That might be- that might be enough. <laughs> you just want a fucking plate of sugar? Mm. You have surprisingly bad taste. If you don't want it, then I don't mind keeping it. Is that a... <laughs> Is that her way of saying thanks? <laughs> Your taste is shit. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> All of our items are actually pretty non-spoiler. Yeah, but just in case. It's it's good. It, it's a good thing to get uh, lists consistently. Because if there's ever a point where it's like, hang on, let me guess the, get the list. Because it's a spoiler if you look it up. You know, it's just better to look it all up and assume all of it is spoiler. You feel? You understand? This consistently is less likely for me to be spoiled. My kind of girl, food and murder. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm a fan that Maki specifically likes the food. Oh, I just came- I, I just came here for no reason. I didn't even check if she was here. But now I know it's not a spoiler mirror, so technically you spoiled it for me. Thanks! Everyone should- No, just don't do that. I already bullied her today. <laughs> and I promised her I'd stop. <laughs> Spoilers and it spoiled them. <laughs> I should I shushed her earlier. Mira doesn't need any more babe. Yeah, chat. I pick on Mira enough. She doesn't need you all at giving her shit. <laughs> if people see you talking to me, they'll mistake you as a friend of an assassin. Yeah, that's sick. You. Make me Bucks Lord? Uh game ball all in, coward. <laughs> Let's see. Uh wait. Did the wait. Did Bucks reset again? I'm Bucks Lord again. What the fuck? Why am I Bucks Lord again? Get rid of it all. Get rid of it all. How? How? Get <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> the game broke. All right, hang on. I don't. I don't deserve these. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble it all in until I lose them all. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I have 11 million beard bucks. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Here you go, chat. I've redistributed the wealth. Here's a thousand points for all of you. If it's not enough, 
stay to the end of the stream. I might give you more. Let's invest in Mira having a sword over Andrew's head and see the, <laughs> see the remote that makes it drop with <laughs> I'm not Bucks Lord anymore, though. Technically, I'm never Bucks Lord. Now Chris is Bucks. No. It still says I'm Bucks Lord. What the fuck? I. Hey, uh. Fucking. Fucking Streamlabs. I don't. I don't have. I have 11,000 still. <laughs> Who is Chris? Chris is 130,000. And, uh, the, the one with the least amount of points right now is Mira with zero, because she just fucking gambled all in and failed. <laughs> Are you still fine with that? If you're, if you're putting up a front, then you're, you'll get hurt later. Shut up! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bullying you again. Alright. Mira, I've been, pull I've been bullying you for the last, like, Hour. So, so you know what? You know what? Here you go, Mira. Here's 500. Hopefully, hopefully they actually gives it to you. But there you go. Never say I didn't give you anything. Spend some time with Maki. <laughs> That's all I have to do to make Mira happy. Is just give her money. <laughs> Chad, if you're ever mad at me, is that what I should do? Just give you all money? I want things? Alright. Uh, points at pillow pet 88. I'll give you 500 too. Chad, who wants points? Let me know. I'll give some of you points. <laughs> After years of having my bucks taken from me for bullying and sexism. <laughs> All I want is love. Well, you know what, trombone? You know what? My love is worth exactly 200 buck uh, beard bucks. There you go. <laughs> huh? What? Hmm? What? The f what the fuck is that? Chat, what? Chat, what? Chat, what is this? Wait. What the? What the fuck is a reaction voice? I have no idea what that is. What? Okay. There's someone in the YouTube comments, so if someone can tell me what the fuck that is, some sort of reaction mood thing, but I never knew what it was. Is that why I'm, it takes me forever to make friends? Is because I should be using that? Hmm, you must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Um... Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? Oh. No, I'm just the ultimate assassin I've never killed before. Let me look into it. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well, well that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. <laughs> With a gun, idiot. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> Wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they become known? You're right. That is true. So what? If you want to know about my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly uh, she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No, that's the first I've heard of it. Oh god, oh, she's yeah. in a cult too. Of course. A normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. I she's part of a cult too. Alright, we gotta take care of we gotta take Maki out too. Anyone who's in a cult just has to die. I, I, it sucks, but that's just how it is. Hmm. A cult? What does that have to do with your assassination, though? Okay, so it does what I thought it did, and it's two things. So the first is that when your character responds, it's his attitude of response. So... Do I activate it b before I respond? A cult? What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? But the second part is a part of a minigame thing later. Alright. Let's see how many cults we can get in one game. At the end of it, it all- it turns out we're all the other part of Ultimate Despair. despair. You just set it? Oh, okay. I don't know how to set it though. I see. That's the assassination organ organization I belong to. Nope, that's auto. Maybe if I just press all the buttons on this controller. I want to be friendly. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. That's interesting. 
I'm gonna be... What the fuck? That's... Wild. Okay. I don't know what- I don't know what to- wait, no, I don't know what to do with- with, uh... With Maki, though, so I think I'm just gonna stay as middle as- middle of the road as possible, like... Friendly- friendly confirm. Let's- uh, let's just do- let's just do friendly. Yeah, you're right! How do I stay middle of the road? Hmm. Mm-hmm, there we go. You didn't get the 500 points? Sometimes, sometimes the points is just weird. Hello, pet88. Let's make sure I'm spelling your name right. I am. All right, try it now. You just, actually, if you just said it, let's let's be let's be like kind of friendly. Friendly and confirm. There we go. Let's see, Sashin Agent organization I belong to. Huh? You belong to a cult. You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult from behind the scenes. It trains assassins. But. That sounds made up. Sure, It's whatever. real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are a part of it. It doesn't really apply to your progress, is it just setting your voice lines it uses? Oh, okay. The clients ask for call consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other, believers, the other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure about the details. Basically, let's you choose if Suichi is an asshole or super nice. Okay, he nice guy then, because I like Suichi. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well. Well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's, she's just accepted the way that things are. Then, then I assume you're a devotee to, in this cult. That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you are you sure you're, det you're a detective? That's true. I suppose she couldn't be. Well, there are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's. So you don't share that kind of information with each other? That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will cut and will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into this state of mind? Cool! Another cult! Pog! <laughs> We're Maki's first friend, yay! <laughs> Still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I returned to my room. Hey! Hey George, what's up, bud? Thank you for the thank you for the five gifted subs. Unfortunately, it appears we have oh no. Thank you for the one gifted sub you gifted 14. Thank you. But you but you shared five rewards with everybody. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, I, I saw five and I just assumed and now I feel like a dipshit. But thank you. We spin the wheel. George, are you around after stream? Because I think we're gonna play Leaf. So uh yeah, don't get tilted like you did the other- Don't all of you get tilted like the other night, because then I didn't get to play. <laughs> I, might, I might stream it too, depending on if I feel like it or not. So chat, maybe maybe League stream at 10 tonight, just a heads up. But until, but until then, we're going back to the video game. Oh, Mantaro is out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. <laughs> While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. <laughs> Monokuma, buddy! What happens? But, uh, MC Meme 00, uh, welcome to the Beard Crew, bud. Better get a thanks in there, chat, show some love, yada yada, yeah, you, you you're all, you're all way ahead of me. <laughs> you're all, you're all ahead of me with, like, thank you and shit. I, like, didn't expect a like, gifted sub, so I didn't know how to react. Then I also didn't mention it, but I suppose it's nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? I would assume yes. Beauty super secret late in the extreme. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the to the door and opened it to find. Guessing not Kaito. <gasps> oh, Maki, I didn't know we were getting this close this quickly. Woo! Okay, alright, well. 
<laughs> huh? Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys, then flake out. But... Maki probably stabs you. Hey, man. If that's the way to go, it's just... It's just how it is sometimes. That's how it be on this bitch of an earth. Ah, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. Ah, uh, no, I... I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really going to do this? Training, just the two of us? Sick. That's what an assassin would say. <laughs> That's how Maki and I ended up training together. See, I feel like her her head fits on her body a lot more than Shuichi's does. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Are detectives part of the police force in Japan? Because I would think they would. Like... I'm sure, I'm sure Danganronpa thinks of detectives as, like, old-style Sherlock Holmes detectives, but, like, detectives are part of the of the police force, right? So, like, they should have to pass a physical exam, right? Am I, am I talking out of my ass? Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. I think it's probably assuming he's more private investigator type of detective. I forgot about private investigator. You're right. You're right. Do you? Look up to that idiot. Define look up. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. Me and Shuichi are like two peas in a pod. In a, in a, in a We're like two D's nuts. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. <sighs> I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. <laughs> Maki sprang up and said, Hey. 100. I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant and she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push ups until I passed out. 100 push ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Well, Maki, I'll say this. Natasha Romanoff thought that exact same way. And now she's getting her own movie after she died. What I'm trying to say is, the Marvel Universe treats women like shit. Fuck you, Disney. Because. But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But. Ah, but I'm kind of the same way. Well. I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought I it wasn't. It was. It wasn't too great a job. Covering people's secrets for money. It's the worst. Okay. But now, I feel completely different. If it's gonna help my friends, I'll do it. They revived her with the Necronomicon book thing. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Kiba acts more human because he actually believes in the god of his cult. <laughs> Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Ah, see you tomorrow, Maki! She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. All right then. Very cool. <laughs> I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that's nothing serious. It's not like I could, you know, knock on his door and ask him if he's okay. Yaha! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Um. Uh... Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Kuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kirumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But... If no one is allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have, ha wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well, we're getting jumped. Limit? 
So basically, you want to take our freedom away. Is that it? My, my! <laughs> You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh... Um, you need to remove all... We need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. A tour! Because that's what the tour says. How divine! That's what the tour says. <laughs> a tour says... Yes! That! People are afraid of you, Maki. So we'd prefer if you were more careful. Hmm. It's for the peace of the academy. Yo, I don't want to be jumped. What is the point of human life? Oh, he's going full- Chat, I told you, he snapped, he's going full Terminator. They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. And me right now, I'm a 27, 26 year old man who can't do anything. I forgot my own age. <laughs> Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. Maki could probably handle herself in that fight, honestly. If Gonta wasn't there, probably. But Gonta probably wouldn't want to hurt her. So, like, it's a toss-up, I believe. Hi, buddy. You doing? No, okay. I didn't think so. Didn't think so. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at well, all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. I feel like Maki could easily kill Gonta. Not, not in a 6v1 though. Like, I, I get that she's an assassin, but like, assassin would mean that she's good in like, the shadows. And like, we, get, we have to remember that like, Tenko's an idiot, but she's also a Neo Aikido master. Like, she's the ultimate Aikido. So, like, she has to have some kind of strength. So, like, her and Gonta, maybe. Again, I don't know. We, we, we've just been told about all these guys' power. We know of Gonta's strength. So, like, just, like, I, I'm comparing what I know and what I've seen. And what I've seen is always a lot more impressive than, like, what I'm told, you know? You see the gun in Maki's lab, but if Maki is jumped and doesn't have any guns, how does she expect to get to her lab? <laughs> if she can get to the lab, but then there's a new problem. Dang it, Rumpa, to your list of who would win in a fight. Alright, we'll, we'll do that if we have more time at the end of the hottest tier list. Or not, not hottest, the hottest is fucking League of Legends. We'll do, we'll do that after the most liked tier list, because we're not rating hotness because they're all children. Except Monokuma, who is S tier. <laughs> if I have to get killed, I would like Maki to assassinate me with her thighs. Marco, they are chill. Oh wait, you're you're child too, so I guess it's okay. All right, Marco, you gotta pass for me. Anyone else that says that, you're banned. <laughs> Maki could have some concealed weapon on her, probably, but she said that she doesn't. She said she didn't want to kill anyone, but she would. So yeah, maybe. If she had a weapon on her, things would change. But I'm assuming she doesn't. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around. Quit messing around! Don't just do whatever you want! Huh? Hmm? But I have a Tua's blessing! That's right! Yeah, we have a Tua's blessing! And I'll throw any degenerate who won't stop up and shut up about it! Mm -hmm. I know you claim to be the student counselor or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. I was gonna say, say hottest tier list would be real easy. I'll go and do not touch yet. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I think a couple people in Danganronpa 2 are believed to be 18 at the end of 3. But, uh, it's best to just leave them all in Do Not Touch. Just just for safety's sake, so, yeah. All of them in Do Not Touch, except, uh... What's-her-name's dad, the detective in the first game. I forgot her name. Oh my god. What is her name? Yes, what is her name? Holy fuck. It begins with a K. What is her name? Chat, help. I feel so stupid. I'm blank- because I've learned a whole bunch of new names? Kyoko! God, I'm so stupid! I- I feel- I'm mad at myself for forgetting that. So, we can rate Kyoko's dad is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All of that for a lackluster joke. If it was just the joke, it would have been fine, but I forgot her name. Jesus. Okay, here's S tier. Um, oh. <laughs> What? What is going on? Um, 
And Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Going to put heavy rock on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta handle it this time. Um, well, why would you do that? Because. Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want anyone, any another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up. You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around. Damn it. Does she? Damn it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking her our opinion. Certainly. I'm in character, all right? <laughs> it certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right. That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. Yeah, chat, honestly, Andrea is my favorite fan. If I make a joke and Andrea doesn't la laugh, I just assume the, the joke didn't, didn't land. <laughs> if Andrea laughs, I know I did an okay job. Aww. She can hear too, after all. Man, she's a lost cause. Playing Janes like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Suzuki, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh my. She. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Thank you for I see. I see how she conducts them now. Smiles on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red eye. That sounds like cheating. God. What a cool god I have watching Red -eyed, me. Red-eyed, black-haired. Oh my god, Sumugi belongs on fucking DeviantArt. What the fuck? Is this what we call cute? No. She's conducting her into her cult. That is not when cute. can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Then die. <laughs> Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Alright, Angie kills. Easily. Angie's the one that kills. So cool. Atu is just so cool. Red eyes and black hair is cool. Fucking DeviantArt. <laughs> what did Samugi do? Uh, she was indoctrinated and also belongs on DeviantArt. It is cheating. The god cheats. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad but, side. But, but, but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is, is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving yet? Yeah. Yeah. You haven't given up? You haven't given up? Uh -huh. What the hell's wrong with you guys? See. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? It's tighten? Are you calling me loose? Oh my god, Mew, I hate you. That reminds <laughs> me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mew? What? Eh, so what if I was? So was Maki. She didn't go pa she didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey! Shuichi, you too, right? Gonta, you back the fuck up, buddy. You and me, we tight. But I will... Well, I won't break you, but I'll pretend to. <laughs> I'll print out a piece of paper of you and rip it in half, because that's the closest I'll come to breaking you in half. I want to say something, but I don't want to apply spoilers or spoil your feelings, but it just dawned on me. Uh, if you can remember it till the end of the game, or until what you think is spoiled is done. I'm definitely feeling like Angie, but a killer get killed. She's such a big target now. Yeah. Stage got better. The Discord dude hit me up. I got Nitro... And with it, you have your super boosted your server. Hey, nice, man. I don't know what boosted servers do. But, uh, we got it boosted, so thanks. I don't know what that means. <laughs> It'll give you a paper cut still? It's going to see, I probably. Look, I didn't say I could beat him with no battle scars. You get more emotes? Oh. Should we make those then? Oh, whatever. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that after. But thank you, George. I appreciate it. Hi, Miai. Uh, there's been a cult formed. We're in trouble. Okay. Y yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be there too. Cause Atua says Atua so. Atua is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at nighttime. Huh? What? Stop it! What? What I, what, what I do and where I, where I, where I do it is my, is none of your... Jesus Christ, that was not a hard line. What I do and where I do it is none of your fucking business. No? No? As long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... You, why are you speaking? Yeah, I, I'm only messing your lines up because I don't like to speak as her. That's why. You were training all along to finally be able to not be snapped by like a twig by Gonta. Why is the student council exempt from the, your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... <laughs> I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm. That's right. Why would we want to go outside anyway? 
Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a tua. What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough! This is giving me some animal farm vibes. I don't know how to read, so I don't know that I've... <laughs> I've never read on animal farm, so I actually don't know. I don't know what happens there. If someone could give me a quick synopsis, that'd be really cool so that I can be in on the joke. I don't like not being in on jokes, chat. I don't like not being included. <laughs> like hell I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. <laughs> Basically, literally, literal communist pigs. Okay. Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think they might. I, I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. We want you to get even closer with each other. So we brought this. Oh, flashback light. It's, it's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Yeah. Wow, I suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan named that long. Mm-hmm. Ah, let me see that. If she breaks it. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... Yeah, she's gonna just break it. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. Mono Dam? Uh -huh. The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. I'm ready to throw out a window. What about you, but chat? But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Man, they really think a bunch of teenagers are going to talk about their memories and feelings. <laughs> oh, oh no! If you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust! But what are we going to do, Monodam? Kill. <laughs> Kill Angie. <laughs> oh no, he ran! Ah! He, hey, he ran away! Oh. Hey, Monodam, wait! Angie's on some weird-ass Stockholm Syndrome bullshit. Angie's just fucking on some cult-ass bullshit. <laughs> Bayonara! Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh dear, we could have remembered something about the funeral of the ultimate hunt. That's not right! There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right! Yeah, it's pointless now. Always Why around. you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. Sorry, but you should take that up with Atua. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the you know what? Ah. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? what? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more w fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? A necessary precaution? Uh... Um, what if we get another time limit motive? Like the one that Rentaro ki that the that got Rentaro oh, yeah. killed? Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um... You mean, if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're gonna resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> <laughs> you have some cool plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh... Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua must make the difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... But, but, we must, su we must submit to Atua's will if we are to live, in a pe in live a peaceful school life. Yes. Exosol's about to bust Angie up. Good. I'll watch it. With the light. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. Yeah, it's just like Atua says. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that this thing that 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 yeah. Did you forget that thing is a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's wrong with you? What's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yup, yup. That motive is of no concern to us. As long as you cast aside your desires to escape. Well, no. By the way, who are you gonna resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... Mm, after discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is. Cause Atua says. Rentaro so. Amami. Huh? Rentaro. Because. Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers, such as Kaede and Karumi. Not criminals like Ryoma, who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video. Which leaves Ry Rentoro as the only one who'd be of use to the student council. Did everyone just agree with a cult god? Yes. Ac yes. That is exactly what has happened, Josh. Help. 
I swear if Kaito gets poisoned or something like that, this got poisoned or something like that this whole time, I'm gonna be mad. Same. I'm gonna be really sad if Kaito is poisoned. True, Rancharo was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're gonna bring him back? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I wouldn't mind if he got brought back, because he's just my normal voice, so he's easy to do. <laughs> no, no, this is impossible. And it's not gonna happen. He's dead. Kaede killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Prayer time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Uh. Yeah, you're right. It's time to pray, pray to handsome Atua. Well. Well then, let's go. Bye, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Andrew, you're in a cult. I'm not in a cult. I'm against the cult. Kill the bear and run? It's not even the bear. The bear wants us all to get along now. Well, I mean, technically it's it's the, the bear cubs, not the bear. But, like, still. Also, chat, uh, Carp Crew's all playing Astroneer. <laughs> Just a heads up. I need to figure out how to turn that off. I'll I'll do it eventually. <laughs> With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out a Tua's will, but this is her will, isn't it? However, even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey! And it's all at war against the students. Count the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. Uh, no, we have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you got some great ideas. Huh? Huh? You say something? No. Uh-oh. Someone was zoning out. Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Kaito? <laughs> Buddy? The steam have the stream mode or something um. that silences them? Yes, I just, I never remember to turn it off. It, it's something that I always forget to do. It's it's uh, easy to fix, I'm sure. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm definitely not happy about the fact that Mew and Kokichi are on the team of people not worshipping a cult god that we're on. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I'll take... I'll take Mew and Kokichi over cult, you know? It's like... I thought, I thought Kokichi and Mew would be the most rat bastard, but then they brought a cult into it, and that's like ultimate rat bastard. That's just, that's all their skills now, chat. That's all their talents, is ultimate rat bastard. They stole it from, from Kokichi. Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? Yeah. Anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There, there's no way. It's just not possible. Yeah. Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? huh? My bad. Sorry, guys, my bad. I I'm gonna go back to my room. Oh, no. That's Jared Leto levels of frat bastard, yeah. Mew's an inventor, she's sort of okay. Mew, I don't hate as much as I originally thought I was going to. I definitely don't like her, but like, I don't hate her as much as I thought. Yeah, Kaito is obviously sick. If he dies, chat. I will kill everyone but Gonta. So that Gonta can escape. Is <laughs> Cult is one combined big rat bastard, yeah. What was that about? Is he getting sick? We were, we were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. He seemed to be enjoying this. You wanna know why? Because he's rat bastard. The rest of us left the, left the dining hall and went back to our room, our dorms, rooms, whatever. I don't know what it said. It was one of those. <laughs> They're both correct. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaede's. Get out of here, with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Like, for example, kill the cult. There's a wild idea. Alright, chat, let's find Maki. Oh, there she is. Let's not communicate with any of the members of the cult, because, quite frankly, fuck them. <laughs> Time to flirt, kinda. Give me kiss. 
Andrew gave me a kiss, so I'm happy now, chat. Fuck off. <laughs> Do no harm unless they're in a cult. Yeah. Hang out with Kaito? No, I'm hanging out with Maki. There's no way you can resurrect That's the dead. True. Rantaro definitely died. Kaido and Kurumi died right before our very eyes. So what? Fine. I don't feel like doing anything particular, so I'll let you decide. Y'all want to eat some sugar with me? Just raw sugar? Not gonna get closer. There's one reason why, please. No. <laughs> Doing some lines of that sweet stuff? Hell yeah. Hmm. You must not worry a lot of you. Oh yeah, that's right. She just takes it and hey. insults me. Hey Maki, I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use all of them? Uh oh, did I upset her again? Sorry. I'm sorry, did I have something wrong? So what? Not really, it's just... I just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. I'm liking to imagine that when we hang out with Maki, that we just sit in silence for like an hour, probably. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Hmm. Nah, is that right? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassins. That's true. We use those too, but I mostly have knives. Also poison. Sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs? For an assassin? Okay. A warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. What the fuck? You can control explosives to destroy just one floor? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So what? It's rare to be that flashy, though. Normally, disposing one target is enough. Hey! Oh, I like her! <laughs> uh, so what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking what about? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff, so... I see. This will probably disappoint you, but I don't- I don't kill only bad people. Because? I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person is. Hmm. I suppose this is just the way it is. I see. But I've also had to dispose of people who I know- who I knew huh? well. Huh? Like who? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you do- have to do that? Well... A daughter of a, of a Yakuza leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Oh, okay. I thought- I thought it was gonna be fucking, uh, Fuyihiko's sister. Her father loved her very much, which is why she was seen why was she seen as dangerous. The Yakuza's elites decided to have her removed, in case rival games used her. Wait! What? She didn't do anything wrong! Okay. Yeah. But I did as I ordered. Huh. I feel like one of these two is the one she wants to hear. Let's let's go with this one. Um just make sure you don't forget her. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't have time to remember every face I killed. I'm guessing that's not right. Nope. But I actually do remember her. Is this... No, it's nothing. Remorse? No. Yes, it is! You may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the on account of other people, but everyone does what they can to live. You, me, and everyone I've murdered. I'd kill, but I can also be killed. That's all. The cold and indifferent Maki has been overwhelmed by words. I've never seen that like that before. I couldn't think of anything to say. Yay! She kills. Yay! Like I knew we already knew it, but like now we like know it, know it, and like, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, people died. She killed her own friends, man. You think she won't Fortnite victory royale this bitch and leave? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but if she danced on my grave with the fucking loser one, I'm mad. I'm tilted. I'm queuing back up. Really bad fl flirting there, but good try. I've been in a relationship for almost a decade now, chat. Like, I'm sorry that I don't know how to flirt anymore. The the, the closest I get to flirting with my wife is, hey, I like your butt. Like, th th that's as far as I get. Thanks. Thanks, Andrea. <laughs> it works for us. Leave us be. Starting from the weight of Maki's story, I returned to my room. What the fuck? Flirt with Andrea more? We don't need to flirt, we're already married! <laughs> it's not really flirting as much as it is- what's the word? I, I think so. It's not really flirting. Cause like, fl I, flirting I see as like a wooing, yeah. I get, no, wooing's not right either! Cause we're already in a very committed relationship, there's no- Flirting and wooing is used to like test the waters of search to be like, Hey, I kinda like you, hey, I kinda like you! And then, once you're dating, it's really no longer flirting. 
the wooing process should never end. It's not a woo though, chat. Woo, yeah, thank you, Josh. Josh knows what I'm saying. Wooing and flirting are pre-early in relationship. You're not gonna give me a kiss? I kissed you on the shoulder. You're not gonna give me a kiss on the lips, coward. Well, you're in the middle of talking. <laughs> it's never stopped you before. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I'd call it, but it's not flirting. Oh, hey, whenever I say, hey, I kind of like you, they block me. Uh, there's still time until night time. I'm flirting with, oh, Shui I'm making Shuichi flirt with an assassin. Oh. Because death means nothing to me. <laughs> I'm the protagonist, I'll survive to the end. It applied to everyone but Kaede. <laughs> oh, she's right in the middle of everything. Calculated neglect. Ooh, what? Oh, is that is that the blocking? <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> hey. This guy too, all right? He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Irresponsible idiot. Is that so? I was to go on a walk. You can tang along if you want. All right, chat. She invited me this time. We fuck it. <laughs> I spent some time strolling around the courtyard with Maki. I'm still trying to think what, what I would call it. Because it's not flirting. Because, like, y you can call it flirting, but it's it's not... I, I, I wouldn't call it flirting. I call it harassment, but, like... <laughs> I don't think that holds up in court. Okay, Andrew has looked up some cinnamon. C synonyms. That is not the flippity given is not a real word. Gold dig is not what flirting is. What? <laughs> it's not seducing. We're already married. That's not what flirting is. <laughs> what kind of list are you reading? All right, I'm cutting you off. Huh? You think I'd be excited? Sorry, but I don't intend to give empty thanks because of social implications. No need to put a name behind it. Yeah, but like, there's a name for it. Like, I, I know what it is, but I can't think of it. The DK rap is a list of ways to flirt. Yeah, I just take out my coconut gun. That might be TOS, never mind. <laughs> 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 it too fires and spurts. It shouldn't, but it does. Okay. Anyways, it's, I suppose it's nighttime. And she established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen to training. That's true. I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Right, chat, Beauty, we're gonna get banned? Yeah. <laughs> chat, if we get banned, we just go to Facebook. Easy. <laughs> Alright, so let's ring the bell. Like, the door to Kaito's room opened and out came. Maki, have you been seeing other men? Ah, ah Maki. Is she mad? Uh, oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well, he told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. So, he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think it'll, I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Ah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well, I told you. if you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want, to, want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. But really? But... I don't want to skip it, so it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? What? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? You want to die? It's a heavy question. Guess it depends on the day. Uh -huh. <laughs> die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear- Did she just threaten me? What the f- <laughs> I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I started- I finally started to think about how I can confront okay. it. Okay. 
So if I have to train alone, so be it. Threats mean she likes you? Oh, is this the opposite of the boy picking on me in the, on the playground? Oh, I mean, I guess that's for <laughs> that's for girls, so... Chad, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this really this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined you, you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Shuichi, I'm sorry, but... Can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaito. I mean, I think she's stronger than me, but, you know. I nodded firmly, then chased after uh, Maki and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Maki, about Kaito. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... But Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Uh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Huh? T Tenko? I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you. I don't, I don't think you're here to enforce, enforce the huh? curfew. That's what? right! That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A favor? Wow! There's not even a you in this version of the spelling. What the? A personal favor. Uh, um... A favor? From us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um... Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Chad, shut up! I tried, okay? You're all being mean! Hey! Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No! I could never believe in Angie's god. Huh? What? Listen up! I only, I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then... Because fortitude and brain... So you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? A favor is not a way to flirt either. Depends on the flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, my joke was also to you. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> We're crossing lines here, chat. We're gonna get banned. After what happened last... After I'm not getting banned after what happened last session, I have no fear. Uh... We saw Titty. Not like actual Titty, but like anime Titty that was covered, but like it was definitely Titty. And like it was like Kurumi Titty, and I believe they're all technically high schoolers, so it might be child Titty, so like. And Mew, and, every, and everything Mew says is pretty to us, yeah. I usually don't say what Mew says though. Uh, she's. She's rat bastard. <laughs> she's a step. She is. She's D tier. Step up, just one step above rat bastard. If we didn't get banned after chapter three of Despair Girls, we're good. True. Very true. You pretend. Necropar is actually TOS. <laughs> it is on the list of games you cannot play on the channel. That and every Sakura, uh, every Sakura game. You would, would correct you and claim to be D D tier. You're you're totally right. She's E tier. Fuck her. <laughs> you pretend to be brainwashed to be to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie. But I think Angie is dangerous. That's right. The student council idolizes Angie so much they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in the Tua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her. Huh? That is not what we said, but alright. Well... Asking someone like me for a favor could only mean one thing. Uh, I yes. won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Listen up. But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well... Do you? 
realize who you're talking to? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resur resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Plus the TOS on it is it's a part of the game and not the main focus you're usually fine. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being an ass. I just, I, I've watched Tristan stream so much, and when TOS was a big joke for him, it became, like, I stole the joke for my own, and he stopped using it and I continued to use it, because I still think it's funny. And because we play games that are closer to TOS. So it's just fun to say. Tenko making a slight rap bastard redemption. She still hates all men, but she's like, not terrible. I don't think it's very well written to have the only lesbian in any of the games hate men. I think that's just bad character writing. But all in all, she she's rising up rat bastard. And like, she's, she's communicating well with Shuichi, which is nice. So like, hopefully by the end of the game, she won't be rat bastard. She has one singular brain cell and it's only Akito. We must kill Angie to show that a tool will do nothing to protect her. Yeah, pretty much. She's better at giving men... She's better at giving men some credit for doing something. Did it ever say she was Levin? I didn't know she was. It's it's implied heavily that she has feelings for Himiko. Like, like very, very heavily that she has feelings. I think it's somewhere in the second before the trial. So I I I, I guess I guess I'm 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 kind of just be like, she's a lesbian! And leaving it at that, but uh it's just, it's just what it seems like to be. It, it seems to be what they were implying. Which is which is why I feel... I, and I feel like it's just bad character. I don't know. Please. That's why I came to ask you two. You're the one, only ones who can stop Angie. Uh -huh. Only us? Yes. Well, my officer can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo. And Kaito's not feeling well, you know? That's true. I see. You didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Please. So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. With the gun. I didn't really look at, the, at them that much because I hated Himiko so much, that's fair. That's just my belief, everyone can have their own opinion. But that, that's, that's what I gathered, and I think I think everyone who was watching in chat assumed it as much as well. Tenko bowed as deep as she, as deep as she could. Well. well then, let's go. Huh? Just punch her with your Akito or whatever. What? We didn't even answer yet. Uh, Girl, quit, quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I'm, not, I'm even bowing for you, I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichi? Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. This is something I'd ignore? What do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey! Degenerate Then do male. something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Yeah, she goes back on the rat bastard. Fuck her. Sneak attack! <laughs> I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now, let's go convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the rituals right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. Huh? Okay, so Tenko is stopping a cult, but it's still calling us degenerate. I say she's allowed to survive one day longer than the cult. <laughs> together? I'm going to? Huh? Uh, of course! I, w I wouldn't ask just Suichi for help. You know, because he's a male. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh well, let's go to Angie's lab. We'll, we'll walk there just to gain points we don't really need to teleport to everywhere also it gives my, my voice a chance to rest well angie's about to be found dead yay it's fine by me <laughs> pizza delivery time oh, chat. i wanted pizza today but i had pasta i want pizza because <laughs> i eat like shit Time. Yeah. Andrew was asking me if I had my hard, if I took my my hard drugs for dinner, and I did. For anyone on Twitch who didn't realize that was a joke, I'm diabetic and have a metformin pill. It's to control my blood glucose sugar. If I take too much, I will die. But I only had one, which is the legal amount I'm supposed to take according to my doctor. Leave me alone. <laughs> if you ban me, I go to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's my threat. Oh, this is, uh, that's the wrong one.
Thanks for the disclaimer. Right. Yeah. Chat, the only hard drug I do is weed, and I don't even do it that often. Now give her the pizza. I want pizza. All right, it's here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Ah, oh. ah, that's right. Angie did say. Angie did say that she locks the door when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway, just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. I'm sure she could hear her through the door. Hey. But wait, Maki, you can't do that. Stop being a little almost impatient. Then, then how should I do it? Um. Angie will only open the door when the student council member calls for her. Tanko turned back to the doors and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please. Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh, oh Tenko? Yes! Yeah, it's me. After Tenko answered, the door op flew open. Yeah! Yeah, huh? Can I help you? Huh? Huh? Why is Su Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, uh, um. Oh. oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please, come in. No. Uh, no, it's not that. Well... Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well. Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like... Oh, I don't like... Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't like that at all, Jack. Oh, I don't like that at all, Jack. <laughs> Kaede? And Rantaro? Kurumi? Ryoma? Yoo-hoo! I made them! Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they, do aren't they just huh? divine? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep. The Mayafei on handcrafted wax if- Huh? Eff I didn't- Effigy is how you say that word, right? I I've seen it before, but I've never had to say it out loud. Usually I mumble it when I have to say it, but now I'm streaming, so I have to say it. Thank you, Miai, for <laughs> making me feel okay. <laughs> wax, e wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course. I think I used to pronounce it effigies, or if or effigies. That's how I used to pronounce it. And uh, I was made fun. Of. No, no, I, I I was also serious for, for thanking you, Matt. Yeah, I appreciate it. Cause I remember I I I, th I think it was do in Don't Starve Together, and I played it with the, with the Beard Crew for a while. And I always pronounced it wrong, so I always like said it very quickly, so that no one would notice because I didn't know the word. <laughs> Chad, I'm really stupid. Why do you make me play visual novels? <laughs> Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh... Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy to the to of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on. So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably wouldn't would have been better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? Ew. You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? Hmm? What? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah. Just like the real thing, but... Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, are they not. It looks exactly like Katie. The face and the body it looks like the real thing. But actually... Okay, he's probably just gonna say that about all of them. Hey, Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you'd understand how bad that might be. Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. He wants us to do it. It can't be good. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life. So the people who died must, must still be alive. No. no, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive. Especially after seeing the wax effigies. <laughs> We're just gonna take her back to the room. They are children, Cacti. They are children, Mira. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I It's been so long since I called you Cacti, but when I hosted Jim the other day and he called you Cacti, it made me laugh. <laughs> it just gave me a giggle. <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh the way it did, but it did. Because, like, it's a reasonable mistake, <laughs> but it was just funny. Espe I get to laugh at it because I make mistakes like that all the time. Leave me alone. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real body still had traces of a soul. 
A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. Literally Tristan did it for the longest That's time true. before he learned my name. Oops. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna assume that I only got it right because I heard Tristan say it before you came to my stream. I'm just gonna assume. But I can laugh at it because you all laugh at me when I mispronounce stuff. Because I mispronounce stuff all the time. <laughs> so I get this one. <laughs> Ryoma, Kurumi, Rantaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that, th that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. I'm an assassin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Oh, so you just bully me again? I didn't bully you this time! <laughs> then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery! Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm, but that's not what the Tua says. He says that if we do the, tri the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then the re resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> <laughs> that must be right, because Atua is never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. course not. This is Atua's will. Hey. This is your will, not Atua's. No. Nope. Nuh-uh, it's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Or else, we'll get punished, you know? You're probably still worried about the motive. Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has, Atua has spoken. spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Hey, wait a minute. They specifically said at the beginning that the ritual would only bring one per back one person. Yeah, but Atua says four. And Atua knows everything. Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Uh... Hmm? Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax of effigy. Yeah. <laughs> Tenko, let's go back now. I think we may need another plan. Oh, yes. Okay. After failing to persuade Angie, you reluctantly left the lab. Yahoo! It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your own rooms. Right, right. Oh, and uh -oh. it's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Eh? But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softy, you know? I hope you recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. I lost my mouse. Yes. I lost my mouse. Where is it? Yeah. What's going on? Why? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's night time. Let me go. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. yeah. She betrayed us. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Ah. Stop it, you're making me blind. Cut it out already! Huh. Tenko's actually the voice of reason this time. Tenko walked towards Himiko and grabbed her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? Yeah. That hurts. Let me go. <laughs> Himiko. Why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? Wh what? What's wrong? Feeling angry? You are, then sh if you are, then show it. Himiko! Get mad, get upset, yell at me, just fight back already, do something. Oh, this is kind of sad. Uh, um... Tenko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sound good? Until then, I'll continue my preparations to wa waking welcome back our friend. Tenko's just trying to get a girlfriend, and I can respect that. <laughs> the grind is real. After leaving, leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> no would have sufficed. I said all those horrible things to Timiko, and now I don't know what to do! Uh, I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend! Huh? You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends! I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well, 
Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Hmm. You, sh you should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you. See you tomorrow. Good night. That is not how numbers work. Yeah, that's not how any of it works. But Tenko, Tenko has one brain cell. <laughs> I don't think you can exactly do rounding with friendship, but all right. One brain cell, chat. She has one brain cell. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Oh. Ah, you were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Not at the moment. Huh? Ah, there's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side. She's able to she's able to act like more like herself around me. Well, what about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing your mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox method. Got it. I'll think about it. Knife is not an you know what? I don't care. Go ahead. Maki hurried back to her hmm. room. So Ma Maki's going to think about it too? I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Dog is barking chat. Can, can I get a bork bork in chat? A consolidation? Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I, d I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Woof yap. Good, good enough. <gasps> E.T. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, and because of how I would flop around on my desk, and because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I will never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. That's sad. Motto damn crazy. <laughs> he go off deep end. Hi, Monokuma. Okay, bye, Monokuma. He's gonna come back in full swing, right? At huh? some point. The intercom? This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Just let yourself in, that's fine. Well... What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. Ew. You woke up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this, to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose it's true. Hey! It's fine. Let's just get, let's just go stop the ritual. Huh? K Kaito? Uh, okay. I heard from Maki, from Maki Roll. That's such a cute nickname. Oh my god. It seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. What? Maki Roll? Don't give me such a weird nickname. Ah! Oh. You brought Kaito here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. We're better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach. But... But Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't have time to be worrying about me. We're, we gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then, we can finally drop that topic. Or else, I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last? Kaito, are you... Um... Scared? Uh... Yeah. Scared. Yeah, that's what's happening. No. Huh? Uh, it's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because? Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since... We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! D don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh, um... Uh, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? So... It's not that I'm scared, that's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but... Ghost stories. I... I was ready for him to actually die. I was ready for Kaito to kick the bucket. I was like, gonna be sad, and mentally and physically prepared myself to cry. And he's scared of ghosts. What the fuck? <laughs> we all were- everyone in chat that didn't know was concerned. And at the end of the day, at the end of everything, he's fine. 
I'm smad. Since I was kid, uh, since I was kid, whenever I hear them, I started to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as we spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. But why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Sh shut up! Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. How come I don't get a fun nickname? Seriously, don't call me Maki Roll. Um. Uh, anyways, let's go to Angie's lab. Honestly disappointed with the fact that he's fine. I didn't want him to die from poison, but what the hell? <laughs> well, at least he's alive now, chat. So you can all beat the shit out of him. Does that make you feel better? So I kind of forgot, I've been going to the dining hall the, the long way, when I can actually just walk to right here. Hey! We don't have time to loiter around, let's hurry up and stop Angie. We're going to not Angie, we're going to the fuck. I forgot, my bad, I'm dumb. <laughs> Chat, beard be int please, and thanks. As many as you can, as many as you feel. As many as you feel out of five that you think that one deserved. I personally would give it a one or a two. Uh... Chat is willing to be kinder or more cruel to me. Just a single one? Alright, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. But chat likes to bully, so... I like to give them the opportunity to bully when, when, <laughs> when possible. One is good. Thanks, Mira! I honestly deserve that. So I'll be nice and just say thank you this time. But next time, I'm bullying. So what do you guys think? Giant, giant beard be into the Discord server? <laughs> yeah, because apparently we have a lot now, so we actually have to fucking make new emotes and shit. But I don't have money to pay for, for new emotes, so... Uh, yikes. But I suppose we can put some of them on, on BTTV. Get the fuck out of here. You rat. Yeah, you guys again. Why? Himiko, are you, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. Can I make an emote? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, actually, uh, if you guys want to get started on it, but I might I might ask people to make emotes uh, for, the, for the server, because we have a lot of spots open now. Uh, but I can't pay you, and I feel bad about that. So it would technically be fan art. Like, fan art emotes. Which, again, I would feel bad, but... Hey, Basil, what's up, bud? Yeah, uh, George Nitro boosted our Discord server, so, like, we get new shit, and I'm just trying to figure it out. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came here to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, Heart Call. No dead kids yet. I think, I think we're about to stumble onto one, though. We're getting mighty close. Let us be fans, beauty. I don't need money because I just give it back. Alright, well, I, I appreciate it. I just... I... As a creator, as someone who creates, I feel it necessary to inform people when I cannot pay them. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's kind of this little disclaimer for myself, you feel? Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. Th that's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. Andrew, the creator? I am, I am a creator. <laughs> she won't open this door for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... So tell Angie to open it for us. Mm. Yeah, that's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Mm. I wanted to ask her how her ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Let us be fans, beardy boy! Alright, thanks guys. Oh, beard boy. Either way. Thanks. You guys can be my f it's still It still feels, feels weird having fans. But I can get rid of it. Oops, she dead? Oh no, Angie's dead. What a bummer. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? She should be inside. Both this door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? Alright, where's Kokichi? Get him get us in there. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Pew pew freely. I don't know how to draw, but I'll sure sh try to, to make an emote. Yeah, go for it. I'll, I'll make a, I'll make an official announcement soon. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside. 
Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. What's our fandom names? Beard hairs? That's gross. <laughs> uh, it's been beardlings, but nobody likes that. I, I feel it. Like you're not the neckbeards. You shut your mouth. It was beardlings for a long time, but everyone who we initially ran that name by to hated it. But like, it's the only thing that is had. You guys, if you guys want to make the name, if you guys want to have a big discussion in the general chat about what the, 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 the fandom name is, you can go for it. Because I, I, I feel like I shouldn't have any, any part of that. The boxers? Yeah, but I think the beard is more important than the box. You have a nice personality to watch and hang out with on stream. Makes sense for me to have, for you to have fans. Well, I appreciate it, Derp. I very much appreciate it. Them some nice words. I'm gonna cry live on stream! <laughs> watch this! Actually, no. Maybe he's sleeping. No answer. Kimiko! Kimiko, we need to get inside right now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Why? Ah. Beard buds? I like beard buds, actually. Beardies work, too. But yeah, if you guys want to talk about it in, the, in general. Yeah, bra brainstorm. I do- I, I think I like beard buds, though. If, if I'm allowed an opinion, uh... And I, I kind of I kind of like the beard buds because we got the beard crew and the beard buds. <laughs> I, I like that a lot. But you know, you would be wanting to check check it's locked, so we can't do. I see. I heard everything. I'm just as shocked as you are by what what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Ew. Straw poll? Yeah, we, we. I mean, everyone seems to like this beard bub beard buds. I I think. I'll let you guys- I'll let you guys dis discuss it. I, I did it. I made a fandom name. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's trick? Ah! Oh. Ah, the lockpicking. Huh? huh? Lockpicking? Hey! During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lockpicking. Can you use your lockpicking skills to get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. You might have lockpick this- open this door, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um, yes, please, Kokichi. Open the lock. You. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Here we go. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. D don't worry about that. Kokichi, hurry up and open that door. My bad. Sorry, sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and, st and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Alright, I'm, uh... See? There, open says me. Huh? That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well... Lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me! Ack! That cuts real deep, Maki. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about got Angie. It. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> when I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob and pushed open the door and saw... Dead kid, dead kid, dead kid. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, dead kid, dead kid, dead kid. <laughs> Angie's fucking dead. Where is it doing now, bitch? This is A body has been place. discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. <laughs> She puked again, and it's green this time. But often his green puke is said to be an om omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? We did it, chat. We survived longer than Angie. The cult is over. We have won. I think that is the happiest I've ever been to well see done. a dead child. <laughs> in, this, in this video game. Let us pray for Angie. What's not? <laughs> so that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <sighs> we outlasted the cult. I think we beat the cane. Atua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't hey, be. Hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird. That, that, not true. Angie's at Atua always by her side. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of a killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead could only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But, but, why would someone do such awful thing? But... Is that, re is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... 
one of the bodies. Ugh, that's nasty. Oh, a bombing soaked entrance. How novel. And the puke is green again, too. That's a pretty ominous sign. Uh, why did another murder happen? What? Oh, that's right. Hang on. That's right. I gotta, I gotta. Time to place your bets. I'm calling Mew. Let's see. I actually. Let me, let me look at, let me look at my, at my list. My list of suspects. Let me just look at them real quick. Get an idea of who I believe did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing right now. All right, so Angie, my initial guess. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. No, that's too obvious. That's that's too obvious. There's no way. There's no way. This one's a little obvious too, but it's a little less obvious. Right now, you're on the it's almost Christmas time? It sure is. It sure is like a lot. I am excited. Oh, you want a jingle? Here you go. It's Christmas time. Oh, did I? Oh, quit. I'm sorry. I would let you play with Monokuma, but you don't care that much. I got two guesses, but I'm betting they're both wrong. Everything's get uh, the the list of characters is getting smaller and smaller, so it's more and more likely you'll get it right. Are we playing more tonight? Uh, what do you mean playing more? We're playing for another half hour. What's the deal, Mono Dam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. Okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. This that has been the case so far. Yes, their bond gets their, their bonds get stronger with each class trial, does it not? This image is a paradox? What? What 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 image is a paradox? I don't understand. Three. Oh, that's true. Is all that remains of a once powerful Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. What the hell? So let's get started. Sorry, I, I got distracted. I gotta get back to playing game. Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. We must dis we must distribute these first. Monophony was puking behind Monodam, but was smiling in the oh. foreground. Oh, yeah. That's just kind of Danganronpa. <laughs> oh look, the Monokuma file! I want to be the one to pass it out! Didn't you want to do it too, Monophony? So. By the way, I've been thinking, you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame, living is all the rage these days. <laughs> ah, more green puke! This is really unlucky. So long, farewell! So then, uh, there is no use complaining. We are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty- oh, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait. Not Gonta! No way Gonta ever get used to this! No. Nope. Why can she puke? Because she gets sick. I- I don't- <sighs> Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body is in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi! Alright, bro. I'm gonna gonna use my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Uh, okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Hey, Potato, what's up? Like Wait, they killed the short dude? Yo, oh, yeah, Ryo, Ryoma's dead. Ryo, Ryoma's been dead for two chapters. Or for, since chapter two, Basil. Those are effigies. Those aren't real. The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Samugi, but do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Uh, oh, no, that's not it. I mean, has this been the work of the transfer student? Uh, huh? Uh, 
Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. <laughs> Maybe the ritual succeeded, and the res resurrected person killed her. <laughs> hey! What? Shut up already. Wh what? It's, it's her fault, I'm telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. <laughs> uh, um, Kaito, are you alright? Sure. Sorry, Suichi, but I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. Do a good job. That coward has a lot of, ne of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> I can see everything is going smoothly, yes. Chat, can I change my guess? I don't- no, I won't change my guess. I don't really know who it is. This- just this- I'm- I just want to change my guess to, like, the least likely person, but I can- I can change it, uh, I can change it on the elevator. And then I'll have more information, so it's fine. I keep- I keep thinking that I get, like, a reward if I- if I get it right, but I really don't. No one's impressed. <laughs> ah, maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage- Jeez. You're clearly settled right into your sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yes, let's take a look. Alright, let's see. The victim is Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. The body was found in the ultimate arts lab. Artist lab. The time of death is approximately 2 in the morning. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Hmm. You get my admiration for getting it right? Yeah. <laughs> I like hearing the thought process. Uh, this one's like unga. This is this this thought process for the original is like unga boonga as possible. Uh, and that's okay. The person I wanted to switch it to is even more unga boonga because it's it's the person they'd least expect. Like that's that's my entire train of thought. So we'll, we'll, I'll just leave it at that, and I'll change mm. it when we get to the elevator. If I if I think I know who it is. The Monokuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. Two a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. Right. So the murder happened at nighttime after all. Everyone had, fo everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said. <laughs> what good would saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council, but that's... All right. We should go and figure that out. Let's, st let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Kimiko? Uh, I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But, but if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <gasps> what? What a pain. Surviving and everything else is too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Please stop! This is no time for your mere spirit mean spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me. No. Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible, but I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with a, se with a seance called the Caged Child. Your voice for Kokichi makes me hate him even more. I <laughs> more I appreciate it. I hate Kokichi, so I gave him the, wor I gave him the worst voice. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, this is no time for jokes! I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift, a swift well, close. Grant some resurrection ritual and now a seance? Are you messing with Do us? You understand? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Marakuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine concurrences. They are written of in literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in a seance of many, a great many times. Huh? M many times. <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish not to take advantage of this, yes? No. No, no matter how you put it, now's not the time for something. However. Oh, I suspect I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory. Therefore. The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. Yeah. Kyo been performing in too much? No. He's good. He's great. So to prove such a thing is impossible, I think it best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. That, that logic is peculiar to say the least. Um... Holding a seance to find out about the ritual? So we're gonna fight the occult with the occult? 
Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting. Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? huh? You too, Himiko? Hi. If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes, I'll do it. Well. Kyo's your favorite character in the series? Yeah, I, th I, think you've, I think you've mentioned it before. I can see it. He's not my type of character, but I like him. He's interesting. I like performing him. <laughs> I like his voice. I like his voice a lot. I can't do it justice, but I do like it. I'll help as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Oh, she's yes! big sad. Okay, so I will. Then, so now we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the caged child requires five people. We're, we're still one short. Yeah. He's weird? Yeah, I like him. Fine, then Keyboy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Hey! Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. No. In order for the caged child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then, then how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The one on the fourth floor? Mm. There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up! I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... Um, the middle room. The middle room is always best for stuff like this. I see, yes. Does a robot really count when it comes to the occult? He's like kinda sorta got a soul. That that's why I was asking earlier. Is he is he a uh is he a robot or is he a cyborg? Because if he's a cyborg, he was human at one point. I mean, I guess android. I don't. I don't know. There, there's like three separations of robot, like human, like man, made man, robot. What? The fuck it. Never mind. Forget it. I'm not smart enough for this shit. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have your four, you four help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from my lab. He's like just straight up robot. So he's like a Mega Man, like original Mega Man. Yeah, I don't know. It's taken Rampa. There's no rules. <laughs> I should. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, um, Are you really going to do this? Do you understand? This is our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. <laughs> Kyo, Kukichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about the stupid seance? But... Perhaps that's just the part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. W wait, what the fuck? Why is he even here? Because he's a... he's a robot. He tells me more with his friendship stuff if you want more details. I'll figure it out. I'll probably do it off stream. I always, I always go find out uh, more about backgrounds when I find the characters interesting. I went through most of them in Danganronpa 1, but not all of them, and I definitely didn't do most of them in Danganronpa 2. <laughs> I'll, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll probably read all of them on the wiki. That's what I'll probably do. What the ultimate detective can do. That's what I did for 1. I, I meant to do it for 2, but I got, I got uh, stuck. I guess the back door is locked. The door is, is- this door is the lab's back door. Is this? The door is a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. And because no one has used this door since we came in here, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Oh, oh wait, what's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tap- on the tap of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny? Could it be? Is that alright? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Go ahead. Do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Just as, just as I suspected, this lock will slide without much effort. Okay, so the gold is from the katana. That's easy enough to tell. So they must have locked- so they must have locked this door. So my guess is they entered through the back door, and then locked the front door. How they leave- how they left is still a mystery, though. Ha, okay, I got hanging again. At least it's upside down this time. Whether you lock or unlock it, this can be an important clue. Sorry, what was it? What was it exactly? Let me, let me, let me look up exactly what he said. Just, the lock will slide without much effort, whether you lock or unlock it. Okay. 
Well... I'm curious about this rear door, too, but there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we used to enter this room. Shouldn't we investigate the front door, too? I'm going to take a closer look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. Okay, I can't see it from here. It's unlocked, but I think there are still things to investigate here. Oh, okay, so... I'll investigate everything else. Angie's body. She's laying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. Yes, I was planning to. Let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She's the ultimate assassin. Thank you, game, for telling me for the 16th millionth time! A small pool of blood has emulated from, from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. The blood is from the back of her neck. Is this... This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. Hmm. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. There's body dripping. There's blood dripping. There's blood. There's body dripping from Angie's head. Yikes. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. I knew it. The killing blow was a single step to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. So my guess is they're gonna perform a seance with her, and she's gonna be like, Yeah, I don't know who did it. It was Atua. Atua killed me. <laughs> What do you make of this wound on her forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit, hit her from behind before stabbing her from behind. But... But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapon mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be necessary. Remember! And also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Huh? 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 What's wrong, Maki? You got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside and lifted Angie's body up, on, up by the this... shoulder. What's this doing crumpled underneath your body? What is it? This, this is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um... I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look at their hair stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? But... I'm surprised you saw that and spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under the body. So what? It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed before, before uh, I did. Okay. Ah, uh, well, that's true. <sighs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over okay. it. Okay. Well, then it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. You wanna die. That's fair, honestly. That's a fair. Sorry. Sorry. Joking. I couldn't resist. You got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking, too. What the fuck? <laughs> that didn't sound like a joke, though. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If you think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, Maki, um, what's wrong? So what? It's not important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito. And at least that guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. Ah, this book. The instructions? Oh, we've already seen this. I don't need to fucking. Right, we, we're all we're all cool to. Oh, cool, just skip this shit. I knew it. This was the motive. The Necronomicon. Hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual as we, she was trying to perform. Just Let's just take a look. Does that sound like a pretty backhanded compliment from Maki? I mean, that's just kind of Maki. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, they brought the eye back. Ugh. <laughs> the Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may, may, everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual is a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Hmm. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. This is stupid. And you really believe this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Danganronpa makes up the rules as it goes along. And you cannot stop it. The four FG's hung upside down make this, makes this seem particularly eerie. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. 
If I remember correctly... Oh, he wasn't actually talking. If I remember correctly, Angie made all of these Sparks figures. Hey. Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. And that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten those ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. Uh, um... Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. Obviously, Atua would have revived them. But he didn't. What a bitch. The eff effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies, too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way... By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Why would, why'd you go out of the way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're gonna do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? I wonder if Angie hung them as, like, a way to, like, keep them there? Actually, no, but then he, she'd only have hang, hung Rantaro. Because she wanted to sacrifice him. Oh, wait, what did that do? The culprit, Angie, or someone else entirely? Byakuya came back and just hung up the effigies as a joke. He said, haha, wouldn't this be funny? A katana. Savna kata uh, Kaede's wax effigy. Damn it! Who did this and why? Got a minute? Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Out of the effigy. Ah! Oh, oh wait, this is a crime scene. You shouldn't. What is it? You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because. Yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest and started at the stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana, but there's a gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's it's the one that was on display in the ultimate anthropologist's lab. Mm. Mm, is that so? Okay. We can probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the bloodstain on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be it would be enough to stab. But but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a hurry. Well. Or maybe they need a long weapon like this. Huh? A long weapon. Okay. My lad doesn't contain swords, or any other weapons of this length. Huh? Ah, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Makumu found out, but he must know that I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission, mission using a katana. I haven't used swords since, which is fine, because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited for them personally, just like Angie's was. But how do they know all this? <sighs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hands now. Uh, okay. It may be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off so easily. Wait a minute. Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. <laughs> Maki scolded me, then stood in front of the Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm gonna put the katana back where you where we found it. If it's too hard to wash, look away. Okay. Ah, thank you. I afraid of my gaze, and, Ma and, and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They just didn't, they just, they didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking and about? What reason, what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure that Katana indeed came from that room. Okay. Is there anything else... We can research here. I don't think we need to explore other effigies, but we'll try. No, it doesn't look like anything new. Okay, yeah, it's all, it's all just repeating stuff. Uh, let's check the door again and see if uh, it'll tell us about the leaf list, make it the connection. This isn't a golden shiny. Yeah, this that is interesting. Okay, no, he's just okay. I thought he'd connect the dots, but we don't need to. Okay, that's fine. Um, can I check the door now. It's unlocked. I think there are still things to investigate here. Okay, guess not. Um, what else is there to investigate? They let us back away from the door. I believe this is all stuff we knew. Yeah, this is all stuff we knew. So, what else could we possibly have? Maybe I'll talk- oh, maybe just talk- talking to Maki. Hey. 
I just want to confirm something. When we get to when it got to the slab, you sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Okay, so yeah, it really it was locked. I don't I didn't remember. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Yes, we were right here. I witnessed it happen. Thank you. Hmm. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. It would have been possible from the outside. Uh, the monocups took the key. Yeah, he ate the key. I get it. Understandable. Then... So Kokichi is the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from the outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? Oh. No, no, never mind. I was going to say, maybe they stole the key from, from Anji, but... She didn't... She didn't have a key. <sighs> Okay. There was only one key, and, An and Monodam ate it. So the front door was locked from inside the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Mm. Still, it's strange that the front door and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has not similar to lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. By the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this... Cult girl died? Cult girl died. Yeah! <laughs> In other words, this is what you might call a locker room mystery, right? Also, George, can you let the guys know that I'll be ready to play League in like 10 minutes? If, you, if you're all still down to play, that is. Locked, huh? You're right. Yes, the cylinder, well, the cylinder lock, locks key was taken by the monocubs. So both doors could only be locked from the inside. Hmm. But only if you were like Peachy's lock picking, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could, so he could have created this lock room mystery. It's possible to lock the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember that's correctly. That's true. That's right. Also, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I think Kokichi is way too obvious. I think he's way too obvious a suspect. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I think I think it makes too much sense. What do I still have to investigate? I don't think the monitor will give us anything new. Yeah, the monitor's not new. Yeah, plus it would be way too early to get rid of Kokichi. Yeah, exactly. Alright, they, like they let me back out of here. So what else? Do I talk to her again, maybe? By the way. Let's turn to the front door, the back door, different locks. No, okay, this is all the same. I try talking to everyone else. I must have I must have missed something. <laughs> this busty brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that! Hey. Shuichi. Do you really have time to be listening to her? Well, wait. Hey, wait, 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 goddammit. Are you just trying to, are you gonna ignore my genius idea? What? What do I think of the first case and kill? Uh, I don't think I could put it correctly into wor words. I would recommend just watching the end of the second episode on YouTube, because I was floored. I was just like, oh. Because I thought I knew who the killer was, because I saw one execution by accident, and I just assumed, or it was, it was, uh, it was not who it was, and then it was like, oh, it was me the whole time. <laughs> Interesting. Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> my friend, I my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. I know you're all double than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well, then. But I figured it out just with one glance. These are diversions. Could it be? Diversions? Listen up! Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Holmes' job? Holmes' job? Oh, well, that's not very nice. You're a waste of time. Maki turned away. I'm turned and walked away. I can't say what was that? Did the execution you see happened yet? No, and I think I know when it happens, and that's a bummer. I'll just leave it at that. Or, or I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping I misremembered, or if it was like a fake execution or something. I don't know. But no, it hasn't happened yet. When it does happen, I'll let you all know. Alright, bye Mira. We're not getting too much farther, so you're not gonna miss too much. Huh, the hell's her problem? Is she on the... Yeah, you suck. 
So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just see how detail- Oh my god. You tried looking at the wax figure's skirt. Hey! What are you doing? Stop that. Hey! Oh, I just want to see if this doll was wearing. Um. Stop, fucking virgin! I'm just... I'm guessing talking to the people is a waste of time. Beginning to realize my mistake from believing that Mew would have anything good to say. So what else do I need to examine? I have to connect something to something, I'm guessing. Lord of Economicon. Nope, this is all the same. Talk to Gonta. My guess is we don't need to talk to Gonta, but I'm out of ideas, so we might as well give it a shot. Why? Murder at nighttime is strange. Impossible, even. Why? Why do you think that? Right! Because student council made rule that we know can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? What? But it's Atua's rule. And she said he punished us if we not follow his rules. But... But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do whatever they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. <gasps> Why would the first thing you do not be talking to Gon Gonta? Because Gonta's in the cult right now. We gotta, we gotta give him a little bit. Huh? She was? But... No way. Student, student council would never break our rules. Right! They should have been asleep in own rooms to set a good example to others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she's sleeping in her room and get brought here? Gonta, if Gonta idiot. could have saved her, if only Gonta saw. If Gonta was sleeping, sorry Angie, Angie, Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. Yeah, so I don't think any of these are give anybody's giving us any information we need to know. So my guess is I missed something here, but like... What could I have missed? Pool of blood, Angie's body. Why should I pull of blood? We'll go Angie's body again. Strive. Okay, so that's nothing new. Angie's body. Blood. Blah, 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 blah. Does not count. Here for places. Must be later for case. Angie's here. Here. Check out the effigies, but I don't think I need to. Nope, none of those are, are new. Kurumi, same thing. Big dumb? What? I don't I don't understand. What is there left to investigate? <laughs> Video game? And she doesn't she doesn't tell me anything new. So I, I must I must have to talk to Samugi. Because she's she's the only other one. So maybe she's she has a piece of evidence for us that we just didn't know about. Um I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Huh? Tenko? Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So you suspect Tenko? Actually. Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh. Yeah, Angie had been shut away here, but wor uh, has been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. I would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student, student council no. after all. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here. So Angie only let the student, let student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Sumugi. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. There we go. That's what it was. I think we've just investigated here now. Okay, so the one character I didn't talk to. Minute? Is that really the, is there is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left in the investigation, so we need to hurry up. You're right. Ah, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. Uh, we may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. That's true. We need to check if the place really did come from. If the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way, it just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, that's fine. Just don't get used to it. 
It's not if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. And I think she's cute, so it's cool by me. Alright, chat. That would be 10 o'clock, the time I said I would stop. So we're gonna call it here for now.